Today we're going to be breaking down one of the best blitzing concepts in Madden 24 combined with a really aggressive coverage logic that is going to do a really good job at stopping a lot of what people like to do out of the gun bunch formation. I believe this might be one of the better ways to defend bunch in the game when you call this at the right time. Obviously, when you're playing defense, you want to make everything look the same. You want to have your maximum coverage defenses look just like your maximum pressure defenses. And in today's video, we're breaking down a really aggressive little cover two uh, coverage concept out of the dollar formation. Now we're gonna be in the cover two press. This is in the multiple defensive playbook. And if you wanna get my access to my entire dollar three two defensive ebook, just join the Patreon. It's the best place to be able to get better at Madden 24. We have full offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as a ton of updates to them throughout the year so that you always have the most optimized version of the defenses. And if you want to check that out, that'll be linked down in the description. Again, Patreon members not only get access to the dollar guide, they get access to all of them. We have over 15 different offensive and defensive ebooks. All right, guys, cover to press real quick from a coaching adjustments perspective. Make sure you turn your auto flip off. For this, I like to leave my auto alignment on default. You can, if you want to, go ahead and put it on base. And then our zone coverage is going to be on match. The setup for this is fairly simple. What we're going to do is we are going to press our coverage. We're going to pinch our defensive line. Now, the way we want to make this look kind of like a maximum coverage style of defense, what we're going to do is we're going to back off that solo or that bunch side outside cornerback, and then we're going to shade our coverage underneath. From there, we're going to blitz the slot corner on the left-hand side. We're going to man up that outside safety on the solo wide receiver side onto the solo wide receiver. And then you can either leave this vertical hook here or go ahead and man him up onto the um the slot receiver the reason we want to man them up on the slot receiver is if they run verticals this is going to do a really good job of stopping the cross serve long enough for us to be able to get the pressure at the quarterback what you're going to see here is if they do run like kind of some standard setups like double posts or anything like that we're gonna have those quick flats taken away your job is just a user really kind of in that vertical hook territory for just a second uh for the pressure to be able to come in now, one thing I did want to say is if you see that they are running verticals, it's really, really important that you go ahead and user the running back streak. So if they run a running back angle route or running back streak out of the play verticals here, we'll show you what this is going to look like. But essentially, we're going to kind of start to the tight end, and then we're going to like just absolutely sprint toward the running back. We want to kind of fake like we're going to the tight end, and then we're going to go to the running back. The verticals is really the only play that can give us a ton of problems. And one way to counter that, if you are anticipating that they might be running verticals, go ahead and instead of hard flatting that solo wide receiver side corner, go ahead and man him up on the running back. This is doing as the scissor adjustment. Um, it's just scissoring the man coverage so that it plays the quicker hitting routes better. Why you would do this is because it'll take away the snap throw out of verticals to the running back. And then it just allows us to kind of go from here, kind of bump him and get into the tight end's face and be able to, again, we're trying to just cover for just a second so that this pressure can come in at the quarterback. Another popular route combo that a lot of people like to run out of bunch is a street corner flat to the bunch side. It's gonna do a pretty good job against something like that. So let's say, you know, they did something like this. Now they will be able to maybe pick up the pressure with the block running back. Sometimes this pressure will still come in. They may be able to indeed pick up the pressure uh, with the blocks running back. But the thing I wanna showcase here is that this really is fairly simple for our user because they're not putting their running back out on a route. And so all we need to do is we're gonna get a nice bracket on this solo wide receiver. And then we have the hard flat to take away the tight end route. So essentially here, we're gonna lurk the corner. And you see that that dig's gonna be guarded. And as you can see, the pressure has got to put great potential uh, to be able to come in. So this is a great little blitzing concept paired with a, a nice little aggressive underneath coverage concept. The beauty of this is we're just trying to, this is a specific setup that's going to allow us to take away some of the quick reads that a lot of people like to go to out of bunch. Um, for example, even if they ran like any kind of table route, running back wheel, C route combo, pretty popular combo here this year out of double post, something like this. This is going to do a pretty good job. All we're going to have to do with the pressure is going to come in, the five man. So all we're going to have to do is we're just going to run here to the left side, kind of lurk back into the middle and get back to the post. Really nice little defense here. Probably one of my favorites whenever I'm trying to get a, a big play against Bunch. This is one of my favorite coverage adjustments uh, to be able to run because you're going to be able to stop everything relatively quick. And then you're just going to have to essentially um, get your pressure home. If your pressure does not come in, if they do block it and they do have a ton of time, it also is going to limit the routes they can run. So as you see here, let's say they block the pressure. I'm going to go to the tight end and then I'm going to peel back to the post. 
fairly easy lurk on my part. You guys want to get my entire dollar three two defense and learn how to not only use this type of a play, but also a ton of other concepts that are going to help you in general just bag people. Go ahead and join the Patreon. The link's going to be down in the description below. I want to thank you for watching the video and to sign up, head down to the description and go click on the link to join the Patreon.